So welcome back to the Northern Performance Cars YouTube channel, guys. Uh, once again, if you like what you've seen, if you like what you watch, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, all the little buttons that are on there, um, just to keep you up to date with what's going on. Uh, so anyways, we weren't gonna do this, but we decided to, we had a lot of people ask. We got this bone stock 4.8 liter truck with a 4L60. Um, we are gonna do a baseline today, and then we're gonna see what it'll make, and then we'll do a tune to it and see what we can squeeze out of it. Um, and then we'll pull it off the dyno and we'll install a uh, truck Norris camshaft. Uh, so we've had quite a few people that were like, no, do the video, do the video. And I wasn't gonna do the video, but I guess uh, by popular demand, we're gonna do the video. So stay tuned. We got the springs in, uh, getting to put the cam in right now. I was just taking the really filthy water pump gaskets off that they siliconed in there just in case, you know, silicone so they don't fall out or the gaskets don't leak that our gaskets so they don't leak anyways. But this thing is dirty. There's a lot of dirt down here. It's icky. Yeah. So we're going to put the cam in now and then, uh, I'm starting to wind down and I ate a bag of chips and now my tummy hurts so I'm struggling leaning over this core support. <laughs> We just made the first pull uh, with the truck Norris cam and the long tube headers at like 27 degrees of timing and 1270 AFR. It made 41 rear wheel horsepower more. It made 272, 273 to the tires. Uh, picked up like 25, 30 foot pounds of torque through the whole curve. So we're going to start doing a little bit of a tuning on it now, see what we can squeeze out of it. So check it out. So here's the bone stock 4.8 uh, dyno pull. The blue line here, so horsepower here, torque here. Um, so down low you can see where it's really choppy here. Uh, that's where the factory torque management was in and it was basically pulling timing in and out to kind of limit torque. Um, so we disabled that completely and just shown how much smoother the graph is and it would be about 15 or 30 higher torque, up to 4200 and then no gain after that. 
Um, but anyways, so the truck Norris, we started these poles at 3,000, um, and it's right off rip. It's, you know, up 35 foot-pounds of torque all the way through the curve, all the way up, all the way up. Um, so here, you know, horsepower is 180 in stock form, 216 with the cam. Um, so then we get up to these points where the cam really starts to shine and excel, where the factory cam falls off, and this one does not. So we're up, you know, 45, 50 wheel horsepower at the peak to the tires. Um, it's still on 87 octane, so it's, it's relatively low on timing. Uh, still is a factory air box. Um, so there's still a little bit of power behind it. Still has a mechanical fan on it, too. Um, so this is just like a bare bones basic. We literally just did this today. <clears throat> we did some dyno pulls late last night. I got up this morning, had some other errands to run, had some people picking up some cars at the shop and started working on it through the cam and made a bunch of exhaust parts out of stuff I had laying around. So this is a single three. So the stock air box, you know, the mechanical fan and stuff's on it. Um, 87 octane still. So, you know, 45, 50 wheel horsepower gain uh, just from camshaft and in some headers is a pretty substantial gain. Um, especially, obviously, as you can see these two lines here, all the way through the curve, 30 to 40 foot pounds of torque all the way up. I mean, literally carried a peak torque of 4,700 RPM now. Um, substantial gain, uh, just power everywhere, and that's why that's why I love the truck Norris. The seat of the pants feel, you know. Most of the other cams, you're, you're not going to really start to excel until four grand. This one, you know, basically about two grand and up, it really starts to pick up. Uh, so it's really an awesome comparison. So, anyways, I hope you guys like the video. Remember to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And we'll keep putting out some some really awesome stuff for you guys. Have a good night. All right, I was totally kidding. I, I I'm not one to leave stuff alone. So I was like, you know what? Let's pop that air filter box open really quick. And voila, 10 more rear, rear wheel horsepower, nine more foot pounds of torque, all the way through the curve, all the way up. So we're 283 and a half, up from 273 and a half, just by popping the air lid off the air box because it had some old white Fram air filter in it. A um, Little bit more fresh air, cooler air, probably than pulling through the fender and all that stuff, but all the way to the top. Peak power at 58, which that's expected with that intake manifold. Peak torque at 46, 47. So it's really rocking out there. 285, 286 foot pounds of torque rated right about 46, 4700 RPM. So, anyways, for real, we're done this time. I just have a hard time leaving good enough alone. So, anyways, hope you guys really enjoyed it this time for real, for real. So.